Hi, and welcome to Blog Group. Today, we'll be discussing 10 things to know about the U.S.-Iran conflict. What a shocking start to the year 2020. The new year 2020 has started on a turbulent note. There has been some really bizarre news coming from all around the globe, and the highlight of 2020 has been the U.S.-Iran conflict. This article tells you the 10 important things that you need to know about the all-famous U.S.-Iran conflict. Before we begin, I would like to highlight the four topmost things which took place as soon as the year 2020 began. First, we heard the news of devastating Australian bushfires. Then there were catastrophic floods in Africa. Then we had volcanic eruptions happening in the Philippines. And now, the continuously escalating U.S.-Iran conflict. Certainly, this conflict is having global repercussions. Let's understand the 10 major points in tracing the relations between U.S. and Iran. Number 1. Resistance of Foreign Domination by Mossadegh Iran has always been a contested site due to its oil reserves from the very beginning. The British government had control over Iran's oil reserves through the Anglo-Iranian oil company for a very long time. By 1950s, Iranians had gotten tired of involvement of foreign powers in their country's affairs and felt the need to regain its authority. In 1951, Mohammad Mossadegh was appointed as Prime Minister and he revolutionizes the country of Iran. He brings secular democracy to the country and resists foreign domination in the country's affairs. He even nationalizes the Iranian oil industry. Number 2. CIA and MI6 Overthrows Iran's Democracy With Mossadegh in power, Iran regained its authority for its natural resources, but unfortunately, this authority was short-lived. This democracy and nationalization of Iran's oil reserves was seen as a big blow by the U.S. and Great Britain. Thus, the CIA of the U.S. and MI6 of the U.K. orchestrated a coup to overthrow Mossadegh's democracy in 1953. After Mossadegh gets overthrown, the U.S. supported Iran's monarch, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, to rule as Shah of Iran. This support came along with the reintroduction of foreign involvement in Iran's affairs. And from then onwards, Iranians started having a tiff with the U.S. Number 3. The Iranian Revolution of 1979 Shah was seen as a Western puppet and hence invited a lot of protests against his monarchy. Many Iranian protesters came onto the streets to protest against his unfair monarchy. This led to his overthrow and the entering of Ayatollah Khomeini, an Islamic scholar who had been arrested and deported by the Shah in 1964, into the picture. He forms the Islamist government and becomes the supreme leader of the Islamic Republic. Number 4. Iran Hostage Crisis and Its Repercussions After being overthrown, the Shah was exiled in the U.S. and was admitted in the hospital for cancer treatment. This agitated the protesters who demanded him back in Iran for a criminal trial. The protesters were so furious that they stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran and took dozens of Americans hostage. Meanwhile, U.S. cut all diplomatic ties with Iran and, in fact, imposed crippling financial sanctions under President Reagan's rule. The hostages were only released after 444 days in exchange for Iranian assets being unfrozen. Number 5. U.S.-backed Iraq in fight against Iran Another landmark event which contributed to the animosity between U.S. and Iran was when Iraq was supported by the U.S. to fight against Iran. In 1980, the hostage crisis haunted America, and it took revenge from Iran by backing up Iraq against its enemy. Not only this, the U.S. played a hypocritical role in the Iran-Iraq war. It supported Iraq for war on one hand, and on the other, it sold arms to Iran for its war against Iraq. This was known as the Iran-Contra Affair. Number 6. Iran was declared as a spot of terrorism by the U.S. Not only once, but twice, Iran was declared as a breeding ground for terrorism. First, it was declared under President Reagan's administration, and a second time, President Bush called Iran as part of the Axis of Evil. This insult of Iran time and again by the U.S. led it to continue developing nuclear weapons without any other country's interference. The development of nuclear weapons made Iran face more and more international sanctions, which acted against the development of the country, leaving its economy to stagnate. Number 7. Signing of Nuclear Deal and a Breakthrough in Iran-U.S. Relations The bad blood between U.S. and Iran continued, and the relations between these two still remained at odds. Also, Iran was suspected by many countries internationally to be continuing its nuclear program for rather non-peaceful purposes. 
So after years of negotiations with President Obama, Iran signed the nuclear deal with six nations in the year 2013. The deal was to slow down Iran's nuclear development program in exchange for lifting some sanctions. The deal proved to be a breakthrough in Iran-U.S. relations. Number 8. Trump came in power and U.S.-Iran ties weakened As soon as Trump took office in the year 2017, he signaled his disagreement with U.S.-Iran relations. The first blow he gave to Iran was when he banned seven Muslim-majority nations, including Iran, from entering the U.S. for 90 days. Next, he withdrew from the nuclear deal, calling it as a one-sided deal. This was seen by Iran as an obvious insult to the Islamic world, which further escalated tensions between U.S. and Iran. Number 9. Year 2019 proved to be detrimental for U.S.-Iran The onset of the year 2019 brought more adverse effects on U.S.-Iran relations. In April, Trump labeled IRGC, Tehran's most powerful military institution, as a foreign terrorist organization. This move was not only unprecedented, but in fact a first in its own. Further, the blame game between both the countries began along with retaliations. Both countries responded to each other's blaming with even more escalating airstrikes. The year ended with U.S. conducting an airstrike on Iranian-backed forces in Iraq and Syria, resulting in the killing of 25 people. Number 10. Soleimani Killed and the Global Repercussions of U.S.-Iran Fight With the beginning of the new year 2020, U.S. ordered an airstrike in Iraq and killed Iran's top general, Qasem Soleimani. This made Iranians ferocious, who mourned his death by flooding the streets. Iran retaliated by firing missiles at American troops in Iraqi bases. To all this, Trump responded by promising more sanctions on Iran. Although, even after all this, U.S.-Iran are not on the brink of a war, but this fight could have major global repercussions. Now, European Union is afraid that Iran could cancel the deal with the remaining nations and would develop more powerful nuclear weapons. In addition to this, if the U.S. puts more sanctions on Iran, Iran would retaliate by increasing the prices of oil imports. This price hike would hard hit the Indian economy like never before. So, these were the main points through which we trace the origin and continuation of bad relations between U.S. and Iran. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new here, please push the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to subscribe to receive all of our latest videos and share this with your dear ones. For more information, please visit blogrobe.com.